Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video and this time around it is another foundation hunt on the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. Before I start to ramble, let's just get into this. So Anastasia Beverly Hills has come out with a stick foundation and I had to get it for three reasons. Well, three reasons other than the fact that Anastasia Beverly Hills is selling it and I would buy horse poop from her if she was selling it. Honestly, I have everything Anastasia Beverly Hills, so when I saw she was coming out with it, I had to get it. But three reasons for the foundation that I got it are that um, it is mainly for oily skin. As we know, I'm an oily beast. Uh, summer's going away, so it might tone down a little bit, but I'm still oily. Um, two, it comes in 28 different shades. And three, it's only $25. So I mean, really, $25. So this is the box that the foundation comes in. And this is what the actual foundation looks like. I picked this up in the shade Espresso, and let me just tell you, picking a color was not easy whatsoever. Another great thing about this foundation is that not only does it come in a whole bunch of different colors, but it comes in a bunch of different undertones as well. So there's cool undertones, warm undertones, red undertones, uh, blue undertones, olive undertones, warm olive. So that made it a whole lot worse choosing a color, because first you have to go, well, fit in between this brown and that brown but that brown has a cool but this one has a red so I actually ended up ordering earth I believe which was the darkest shade that she had to offer which is what I'm used to doing just getting the darkest shade that the foundation comes in but y'all yeah. let me tell you if you are darker than me there is something out there for you okay because earth came in the mail and I was like oh Oh no, this is not going to work. That was way too dark. I swatched it onto my arm and it, it was, no, it just, it did not work. So I had to send it back and then I was going to wait for her to release Ebony because I thought maybe that might be my shade. But um, I was watching other foundation reviews and I saw someone else who matched me in other foundations. Oh, by the way, I will link um, what color I wear in other foundations just so you can get a hint of if you are the same color match as me but I saw someone else do um, espresso so I was like let me just go with this and see whether or not it works so besides the foundation she also sends instructions in the box on how to apply this so before I do any more rambling let me just start putting this on so it says to apply it here here here, 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 and here, and here. So one thing different that I'll be doing in my foundation hunt videos from now on is that on one side I'll be using a beauty blender and on the other I'll be using a brush to see what application methods work better for the different foundations. So first I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this in. looks like on my face once again this is the beauty blender side this is the brush side as always I will keep my comments till the end when I come back and show you guys what it looks like after several hours of wearing it um, if you are new to my channel I don't put other products on the foundation when I'm trying it out for the first time so I can see how it holds up on its own and to see if the claims that the foundation make are true um, that the foundation does that and not the foundation does that when you put other products on top of it. I hope that made sense. So right now it is 11.38. So I will be back later to show you how it held up. Stay tuned. Hey 
guys, so I'm back and it is now 6.01, which means I have had this foundation on for six and a half hours and this is what it now looks like. I've got a lot to say. So going back to when I first put this on, I would have to say that I preferred it with the brush than I did the Beauty Blender. I just feel like it blended easier with the brush. The Beauty Blender took a little too much dabbing, and even after all that dabbing, I still felt like it didn't really blend that well, and it just kind of sat on my face on that side. However, with both uh, the Beauty Blender and the brush, um, I think you would get a nice application with either one. Um, it's been about six hours and this is what my face looks like now. I started getting oily about an hour ago, so I got around five hours um, shine free with no other products on top of this, no other type of setting sprays, um, matte powders, nothing like that. So is it good for oily skin? Yes, because even now I'm just pretty much starting to show. Now as far as coverage goes, this claims to be a medium to full coverage foundation. It is definitely a medium coverage foundation. You can still see certain things underneath the foundation on my face. Can you build it up to a full coverage? Yes, if you just drew more lines than she suggested on the um, directions, then you could um, make it a full coverage foundation. However, with that, I just warn to be careful how many lines of the foundation you apply to your face because it can start to get cakey, but hey, if that's the look you're going for, then do you, boo-boo. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you know that I do not like feeling makeup on my face whatsoever, and now, six hours later, I'm starting to get oily. I still cannot feel this foundation on my face. It has a little bit of transfer, like just a little bit, so you know you gotta be careful uh, hugging up against white shirts, all in all, Anastasia Beverly Hills did that with this foundation, okay? I'm pretty sure she's on a mission to just have your face beat with nothing but Anastasia products because her eyebrow products are the bomb, her lip products are great, and now she's got this foundation. She does have a concealer. I'm just, I just don't think she has one in my shade. Come on, come on. Come on, Anastasia. But yeah, I love this foundation. It will definitely be my go-to for a while. Um, I feel like it just looks like better skin on my face which a lot of foundations claim to do that but you can still kind of tell the person's wearing foundation but I feel like this is one of the best color matches I have had thus far on my channel trying out the foundations that I have tried which will be linked in the description box down below um so the color match was great the undertone is great I just, I'm trying to think of what I don't like about this foundation. I guess one thing that I can point out that I didn't really like is that it does kind of sink into my pores a little bit and you can see them, um, but my pores have gotten larger lately. It's like I can't win. I get less oily, but my pores are bigger. I have smaller pores, I'm more oily. I just can't win. But um, yeah, I don't really have that big of pores anyway, so you can't notice it, but I mean, when I got this close up to a mirror, I could definitely tell that, you know, it was sinking in. Well, I was thinking, you know what I mean. But yeah, other than that, I give this foundation two thumbs up. I don't think I've liked a foundation this much since the Lancome Stick Foundation review that I did. I don't know, maybe I have a thing for stick foundations. But I definitely recommend anybody who has oily skin to try this foundation. And I can't wait to try this with other products for just a full face look. So that's it for this video. I hope this review has helped in your decision of whether or not you were going to try this foundation out for yourself which you should. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Baby, I like your style.